Hi, I'm Akadinik of Rackforms. In this video, we're going to talk about database images in uh, in our jobs. So the first thing that should be said, of course, right off the bat is um, using a database to store images uh, does incur some advantages and disadvantages over using flat files. Um, just off the top of my head, um, there are a lot of advantages. So the first is it's easier to organize images. Um, if you think about it, if we're just saving to a flat file, right, like a location on our server, um, if a user uploads a file that may have the same file name as an existing file, you have to plan for that, right? You'd have to rename the file. And it becomes somewhat of a, a maintenance nightmare when we have to start keeping track of all that. And so saving images to a database makes that much more simple. We don't have to think about image names anymore. We, we more relate um, database records to images. Um, so that can be much more simple. Um, it's also nice because we probably and we certainly should already have a database backup strategy. And as part of that strategy, then you could create a new table uh, to hold your images. And those images then would obviously automatically um, be um, maintained by your, your maintenance strategy. On the other hand, of course, there are some disadvantages. So if you do start putting data uh, like images into your database, um, your backups could be much bigger and they could be much slower. Um, and it's also something that um, older versions of uh, databases and perhaps uh, management tools may not support as well. Uh, using images in databases is much more common now, um, though just as recently as five years ago, it was not very common. And in some circles, actually frowned upon. So. Um, if you're working with older legacy systems that may not work as well. But if you have the advantage of having a newer environment and um, you have a system uh, where you can create solid backups, um, using the database for images is a very good idea. So all that said then, how do we actually work with images in Rackforms? So there are a couple different uh, ways that we can display images, but they almost always will come in the exact same way, that is using SQL Plus. In this particular example job right here called database images, uh, we do just that right here. So I have a file upload module right here. Um, we don't have any options checked under its, uh, its file upload properties right here. Um, we're simply making sure that the maximum upload size is set large enough for these big images that we got. And um, we don't have to do anything else right here. Um, we just leave all options at default. The, the trick, of course, comes with the SQL Plus module. Um, if you want, you could literally just uh, pause this video right now and copy and paste this code into your Rackforms job. Um, it's that simple in, in that we're using the FB images table right here. And we're just writing these different fields, name, mime, size, and the image data uh, using these tokens right here. So in this particular case, the image itself is going to be called image upload. And so the tokens that we're using, you'll see our image upload name, image upload mime, size, uh, the actual image itself just uses the raw token, image upload. And of course, you don't have to memorize any of these. We have the dynamic variable picker here, which actually goes through your job and actually presents these as shortcuts to you. Um, when we run the form, it looks a little something like this. I'll go ahead and browse for one of my images. I'll select the red flowers here. And when I submit now, I go to my confirmation page. Now, what's handy about this confirmation page is actually the first way that we can display images. Um, again, there are several ways that we can do it, but this is the first way. Um, this is using a token. So if we actually look at our confirmation page right here, you can see that um, the first element that we have is this text confirmation page. We then write the image to the database using this uh, simple SQL module. And then we have our uh, token right here, this IMG, and then the name of the field right here. Now, we don't actually have to write to the database for this token to work, um, but we do have to be within the same job. In other words, the image token is only going to be useful if we have, say, a multi-page job um, where the user um, has uploaded the images in the same session that they're going to be viewing them. Um, if that is the case, though, and we don't have any uh, size requirements, using the image token can be very convenient. Now, the problem that we can immediately see here, though, is that this image is really big. So it's obviously, um, it's, it's very large in our browser. And of course, this will probably break most uh, um, uh, systems right here, most uh, layout templates, which is why the image token is usually not the best way to go about it. Um, a far more convenient way is to actually use um, a brand new feature in Rackforms, available as of late September 2013, which is in addition to the image uh, module that we've added right here, um, available to us under database image properties. Again, this is a brand new feature. Um, it's come out now in late September of 2013. If you have an older version of Rackforms, just go ahead and update. It's always free and you get the same uh, functionality right here. But basically, uh, database image properties right here 
allows us to um, talk to this FE images table right here in the simplest way possible. That is to say, we just check this box right here to enable database images, and then we provide it with an ID of the image that we want. Now, if I actually look at my database table right here, you'd see that one of the image IDs is one and the other one's two. As a matter of fact, I probably have some new data in here if I refresh. So I have one, two, four, and five. So I could just pick any of those and display it simply by saying grab, grab the image ID one. Now, unlike the last example, um, here we actually have a few properties that we can set. So in this case, because I know it's a really big image, I can actually set my max image width to 400. And now you'll notice that when I run this, the image is, uh, has been resized for me by the browser. Um, this is also dynamic, though, so we don't have to just use uh, static numbers. Uh, as a matter of fact, we'll almost always use the dynamic nature of this. So in this particular case, then, um, I can put in GID, that is, we'll use a get variable called ID, and then whatever value we pass in that get variable will be the image that we grab. So to look at that then, I'll just expand my window out here and I'll put in my query string, ID equals one, and now you'll notice I display the first image. If I change this to two, we'll display that second one. You recall here that we actually don't have an ID equals three, um, but RackForms is smart enough to not break. If that happens, we just won't display an image. But of course, we have one in slot four here, so we'll display that image right here. So very, very powerful and very simple to use that. The last method that we could use is by using a builder page. Now, this has actually existed in RackForms for quite a while. So even with earlier versions, we have this available to us. Um, the basic idea, we'll just take a look at the page right here, is uh, using a builder page, we're actually going in and Instead of just plucking out single images, um, builder pages are more uh, built for grabbing multiple records. And uh, so if you, if you aren't familiar with builder, I, I definitely recommend checking out some of the builder videos. But grabbing images actually, once again, could not be simpler so long as we're using this FB images table right here. Um, so to grab it, I should actually say this is image right here. Um, to grab the image is actually very simple. We're just going to use the image token. So here's what the image token looks like when we're actually building our our uh, values out here. You'll see that um, if I grab the uh, token chooser here of the builder in SQL Repeater, if I grab the token chooser, you can see that um, this image data right here, this is, again, what our image is. It's under image data. Uh, the image data field has a, uh, a column called DB image. So all I have to do is just click DB image right here. I have some options, so I could set max width, max height, etc. cetera. Um, but when I publish a form then, you'll see that I'm grabbing um, that, uh, that field out right there. So those are the uh, different ways that we can grab images out in, um, in rack forms. Again, there's, there is a lot going on here. The idea for this video in particular is watch it several times. Um, we did cover a lot. I'm gonna go over uh, a quick recap right now, but um, Really, when it comes to the newest versions of Rack Forms here, the only coding that we ever have to do is that initial insert statement to the database. And again, you can literally just pause the video right here and copy and paste this into your own job. Uh, and you'll write, using this right here, um, any images to the FB images table. So as a quick recap then, um, after we insert the image, there's a couple of different ways that we display it. We can use an image token. Again, the key here is, is just like any form data, um, we would have to have a multi-page form for this to work. Um, we're kind of short-circuiting that because, of course, all jobs in Rack Forms are two pages at minimum. So technically, this is a multi-page job right here. But the idea would be that to use the image token, it's because we have, let's say, a five-page form. And on page two, we ask the user to upload an image, right? We're, say, building a resume or something like that. And then on page three, we show them a preview of the resume. And so in that third slot, then we would use this image token right here to grab, let's say, a thumbnail of the user's picture. Um, a more uh, recommended way or a uh, uh, slightly easier way is to actually use now, again, this brand new feature here, grab an image item right here just from display elements and go ahead and check its enable database image and then just put in the image ID or a dynamic token string like GID so we can grab that value dynamically. Finally, we can also use builder pages and the idea here being, of course, that we have an image token. So if I go into the token chooser, scroll down here, of the SQL repeater, if I have an image field, which in this case image data I know is, all I have to do is say DB image to grab its image from the FB images table. 
the big thing, of course, here is that all these um, rely on us having written our images to FB images. If we want to um, to strike out and do things custom, I'm just going to take just a minute here um, to show you some code that I use uh, internally with Rack Forms to actually display images right here. So the basic idea is um, we actually have uh, this is a file that ships with Rack Forms, so you can look at this code at any time. It's just in app move files lib git form image.php. And the idea here is um, the images reside in the um, FB images table. So as long as you correct, uh, uh, I should say, collect the proper parameters from our, our git string here, um, you can just use this code and change the database name if you needed a different database. So for example here, um, you'll notice here we're using FB images. If we instead had um, a table called catalog images, um, and it was abbreviated like C images, I could just say C images, right? So we could use a custom script and then call our image uh, routines um, if we want. But again, it's, it's very much preferable just to use the FB images table for our image needs. So that is a quick look at um, using images in Rack Forms. Hope you enjoyed this. Of course, if you have any questions, we're always available and happy to help. Um, you can reach us direct by telephone at the top of our website at rackforms.com, or you can email us at info at rackforms.com. And uh, thanks for watching.